Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our uh, Ford Fiesta, then I'll take you for a drive in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 1.4 TDCI DPF ZTEC 5 door. Um, 2012 on a 62 plate has done 94,597 miles, was last serviced at 94,438 miles. It has a full Ford service history. Very economical little car too. Fuel consumption, urban is 58.9, extra urban 78.5, combined is 68.9. Nought to 60 time of 14.8 seconds, which isn't too bad. Top speed of 101 miles per hour out of a 69 brake horsepower 8 valve engine. Road tax is only 20 pounds per year. Now it's quite a rare little car. It's a 2012. Um, that's not what makes it rare. It's got a full Ford service history. And the last service was at Ford only a couple of hundred miles ago. Again, it doesn't make it any better for being serviced at a Ford garage. However, what it does show is that the, the person who's had it um, has spared no expense. They could have got it serviced cheaper at an independent garage and probably just as good. But they've taken it to the Ford garage. So it, it's, this is one of those cars that you can kind of throw the book away. We're asking 3495 for it, and Auto Trader's suggested retail price is 3667. So we're, we're underneath that. We should actually be over it. We've also just uh, put a new clutch in it. The clutch was a bit iffy. Um, probably would have gone on notice for a, a good few thousand miles, but we put a new clutch in it anyway because it kind of de it basically deserves it. There's a couple of little marks on it. If you wanted the marks doing, then we could get them done, but we'd have to put the price up. But we've we've kept it at three and a half, uh, half thousand. It'd be an ideal second car for somebody, as I say, very very economical. Um, I'll just show you around it, and I'll I'll show you the the kind of imperfections. So finished in brilliant silver. We've got the chrome pack on here around the fog lights and the, the grill. We've got snowflake alloys not snowflake as it's referred to these days snowflake pattern uh, the chrome separator between the panels and, and the windows now there is a scratch there that's about two inches long um, not not too bad and let me see sorry there's a there's a bit of a, a, a slight scuff there again not too bad um, as I say we, we've kept we, we've tried our best to keep the price down. So if you wanted those doing, we could get them done and we'd get them done at cost, but it's entirely up to you. Right. Electric boot release, reasonable size boot there. Um, split folding rear seats, 60-40 uh, split, fold independently of each other. Got a rear load cover here. Got rear reversing sensors in the bumper there wash wipe and you've also got this kind of integrated uh, roof tailgate spoiler get my feet on the mats there nice and clean here in the back three rear seat belts the isofix child seat anchor points in the back here we seem to be a headrest missing at the back um, We'll try and get one of those uh, just to replace it. But it very, very nice. And the price we're asking, it's great value for money when you consider what you're getting. One of the advantages uh, with this car is it's also got um, wind-up windows. And you're probably asking yourself, well, what advantages are that? Two things. One, they don't go wrong because the, the back windows tend to never get used. Motors end up seizing up. You put a new motor in it, it costs you 350 quid for, for it not to get used and seized up again in, in another couple of years. And the other advantage is that um, when you're making a video and you've been in the job for 50 years and you get in the back of the car and you forget to check it's got child locks on, which I always do, uh, you can wind the window down 
and not have to worry about the ignition being switched on and then let yourself out without appearing too much of an idiot. Now I've extricated myself from the back of the car, I'll just take you for a ride then. Proper Ford key there. And we have height and reach adjustable steering wheel. It's, uh, this is very, very nice in the front. I'll just show you the service history. 11th of 9, 2013 at 15,854, Evans Holshaw. 23rd of 5th, 2014, 29,346, Evans Holshaw. 29th of the 1st, 2015, 40,174, Evans Holshaw. 27th of the 7th, 2015, 48,964, Evans Holshaw. 30th of the 8th, 2016, 55,059, Evans Holshaw. 31st of the 7th, 2017, at 67,982, Evans Holshaw. 11th of the 10th, 2018, 83,653 miles, Evans Holshaw. Then 26th of the 10th, 2019, at 94,438, Evans Holshaw. And uh, let's just see what it's done now. 94,597. So I'll just take you for a ride in it. Of course, I think it's one time or another. Everybody's had a, at least one Fiesta. We've got a heated front screen, heated rear screen, and it's also got air conditioning here. And. Uh, there's the there's the fan. We'll just turn that down. Put that on the screen and my feet. The cup holders here. It's just van coming here, but we'll just check that while we're waiting for him. So that's that. Yep, both door mirrors work. So we've just put a clutch in. So it's just been serviced just been just had a new clutch put in um, things like that kind of make a mockery of the new auto trader price banners there's uh, a service and a, and a clutch probably 700 quids worth of work done um, I, at the moment we've got a great price banner on it but that should be that should be very 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 low this could be advertised next to another car that's not had a new clutch, is ready for a new clutch, is ready for a service, and as I say, we can be at the same price, have the same price banner, but that car needs a load of work and ours shouldn't. So, uh, not, not a big fan of the Autostrader price banners. Big fan of Autostrader, not the price banners. It's the absolutely stupid idea. You cannot compare cars with an algorithm because an algorithm hasn't been in the trade for 50 years that's just my personal opinion this car drives lovely That's uh, not a rattle from the car, that's my uh, coffee cup. I'll, uh, if it keeps rattling, I'll try and put it somewhere else. Good heater. Not. Never going to break any records, 0 to 60. But um, certainly for economy. It's uh, pretty much second to none, 78 miles to the gallon. I suppose the worst that you should be getting is the, the, the government figures, you, you never get them. 
or the advertised figures, they're always under ideal conditions and certainly in England we never get ideal conditions. Why would you do that? Why? That's like uh, not mirror signal manoeuvre, it's the manoeuvre signal. So he's got a fiesta so he can't be all that bad. Got to work the gears really for acceleration. Need to turn that heater down, it's uh, warm. Take up the motorway a little. On the left hand side of the instrument cluster you've got your rev counter in the center your information display underneath that your fuel gauge information display it's telling me the outside temperature at the moment which is eight degrees the how many miles it's done if i press the end in there of the indicator stalk it's the trip counter it's also coolant temperature underneath now that's that's saying average miles per gallon, but I'm, I'm assuming it's instantaneous, and also average speed. But we've been sat there with the engine ticking over while I photographed it, so uh, that's not really going to make a whole lot of difference. We've got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. lady with a child in the car there in a big hurry yeah I, I thought I thought as much wrong lane I don't know so Bluetooth hands-free hey Siri play you don't know me to auxiliary so that's my phone playing through uh, the Bluetooth audio system good sound system Uh, especially if you're going to buy this as perhaps a first car for somebody it's always ideal that A they've got audio streaming and B they've got Bluetooth you see so many people driving in, in traffic jams these days I saw somebody come through the lights the other day and they were turning the corner coming through traffic lights they came through on red and they were looking down at the lap on the phone so uh, that's keeping temptation out of the way. Nice, powerful, um, low end torquey engine. Just get it to 75, or 75, <laughs> officer, I meant 70. Right, so we're coming up to 70, two and a half thousand revs. It's a five speed gearbox. We've no vibrations through the steering wheel nice and quiet just get past this lorry the heater is phenomenal engine don't feel like it's doing any work really we've got the reversing sensors at the back electric windows in the front Let's see what else we got. So down here, you've got, whoops. You've got power socket. Next to that, USB and auxiliary in, which you can play from line in on the uh, radio. It's split folding rear seats. We've got a rear load cover, quite a big boot for the size of the car. 
It, it really doesn't. These little Fiestas, the one litres are kind of a, a little bit buzzy, especially the, the kind of three cylinder ones. This, you feel like you've got plenty of weight. It feels like a bigger car. You've got plenty of weight with the, with the diesel engine over the front wheels. Great for uh, icy weather and snow. We'll still keep pulling all the weight over the front wheels. It'll, it'll uh, be almost as good as a four wheel drive. It's a very nice car, and, and to be honest, if it wasn't for the, the couple of uh, paint scuffs, I, I think this would be a, a, a 4,000 pound car at least, uh, and perhaps even more with the, the service history. Forget the price banners. I'm afraid it's a gimmick. Not a good one. And here's the uh, here's the place where somebody always tries to commit suicide in front of me in a car. So be careful. Nobody seems to know which lane they're getting in. Setting off in second there. They do handle well, these Fiestas. I forgot to put when the MOT is. Um, I'll try and cut it in right at the beginning along with the service history. But it, this is very, very good value for money. Give it some uh, gas round here. Of the bumps and bends. Yep, no uh, cracks or knocks there from the suspension. Brakes in a straight line, no problems there. Let's say one, th one thing about main dealers and uh, mechanics who work there, usually they're on bonus. And to make bonus, they have to sell more hours than they actually work, which means they have to do jobs faster than the recommended time. So they're always looking for things, things that they can do without even thinking, it breaks and so on. So uh, when, uh, when I started the motor trade, Vauxhall Cavaliers used to come with no alarm. And to fit the alarm, you were allowed two hours and by the time I'd finished doing them, I, I could do them in less than 30 minutes. So that's, that's kind of how the mechanics make the money, especially if you take it to an independent, they're not usually like that. They get a wage and they do a, a thorough job, which is, which is in all honesty why I prefer our cars being done by a, an independent garage as opposed to a main dealer. Um, these days, it's, uh, 
probably going to get a lot of grief for this in the comments, but uh, main dealers, it, they just don't seem to know what they're doing. It's kind of organised chaos, and I've worked for plenty myself in the past, and it's uh, you, you're far better off with a either a one-man band or a, a little garage, somebody you can actually speak to. We we went to BMW the other week, and I had to speak to a young lady on reception, and I tell her, and it's like Chinese whispers. I tell her what's wrong with the car, and and I know that the mechanic needs to know that stuff. And then, exactly the way I've told it. And um, she writes some notes down. May as well not bothered. Anyway, I'll finish the test drive here. And I'll just show you how to pair your mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this vehicle, how to delete a mobile and how to stream audio.